The Promises of God, Part 8, from Lord's Day Devotion Playlist. This is the video for the week beginning Sunday, April the 14th, 2024, LDD 49. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Clinton. I upload spiritual, inspiring, uplifting videos that exalt the name of Jesus, that encourage people to have a closer relationship with God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God Almighty, I thank you that you are touching each and every viewer and listener of these videos. I pray, Father God, that they get a closer relationship with you as a result of this one. Father God, help us with the promises of God. It's clear, Father God, that there are thousands of promises of your word in the Bible showing how important it is to you and to us in our relationship with you. Help us to learn about your promises, I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's go to Luke chapter 12, verses 2 through 12, from the English Standard Version of the Bible, as usual, unless stated otherwise. Luke, okay, he was believed to, to probably be a physician. He was a companion of many eyewitnesses surrounding the apostles of Jesus Christ who were faithful. He, he wrote down his perspective from uh, somebody who collected all the information from, from the witnesses, and he put in this particular book, by power of the Holy Spirit in him, what God wanted him to write for the church through the ages. Very important book. Luke chapter 12, verses 2 through 12 Jesus speaking here, Nothing is covered up that will not be revealed or hidden that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the dark shall be heard in the light. And what you have whispered in private rooms shall be proclaimed on the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not fear those who kill the body and after that have nothing more that they can do. But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, has authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? And not one of them is forgotten before God. Why, even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, you are more valuable than many sparrows. And I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before men, the Son of Man will also acknowledge before the angels of God. But the one who denies me before men will be denied before the angels of God. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but the one who blasphemies against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. And when they bring you before the synagogues and the rulers and the authorities, do not be anxious about how you should defend yourselves or what you should say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. Very important promises here. And warning. We need healthy warnings from time to time. Most of the time... In God's creation, we're dealing with promises, we're de dealing with blessings, <clears throat> we're dealing with positivity. We need some corrective instruction. Jesus provides this here along with some important promises. Notice he is that some of these statements have promises embedded in them. For they're both statements and promises. Nothing is, verse 2, nothing is covered up that will, that will not be revealed or hidden that will not be known. That's good for those who are faithful to the Lord and bad for those who abandon the Lord. Good for us who have the faith in Jesus Christ because the things that our Heavenly Father sees us do in secret, He will reward openly when we get to heaven. And even in this, this world, to some extent. Now, go to verse 7. Why, even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, you are more value of more value than many sparrows. Okay? So, even the hairs of our head are numbered. It shows how much God cares about us, that, that he's 
intimately aware of even the smallest details of our lives. Since he cares so much for us, let's pay attention to the promises and the warnings. Now let's go down to verse 12. There's a promise here, after he's saying not to worry about what you will speak. For the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. My question for you, viewer and listener, each and every one of you, and I pray for all of you. Listen, do you want that power from the Holy Spirit? If you haven't experienced yet in your life, this shows you that it's available. Jesus said, it's written in Matthew chapter 9, verse 29, According to your faith, be it done unto you. If you have faith for salvation, you're going to be saved by Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me, indicating that Jesus is the only way to heaven. There may be many paths to Jesus, but Jesus is the only way to heaven. Now, if you want power by the Holy Spirit, have faith in it. Call on God for salvation first, and then you can get the power of the Holy Spirit. That's how it works. you got to believe. Once you believe that that's acknowledging uh, that someone or something exists, when you respond, it becomes faith. So believe first. The next stage is faith. And then you begin to focus on the details as your mind is enlightened by the promises of God. Salvation first, empowerment by the Holy Spirit, and then God will give you the words to speak when you face persecution or troubles or trials of any kind, really. You can extend this into your whole life that God will give you the words to speak by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we thank you for your promises in the Bible. I ask that each and every listener and viewer right now seek you in prayer right after this video no matter what even if they gotta uh, stop something in the background like turn off the tv or the radio or or, or whatever even turn off the, this device that is showing this video in order to have no distractions no notifications to pray to you for salvation and pray to you for empowerment by the holy spirit i pray father god that each and every viewer will not only receive salvation, but understand that by salvation, we are dedicated to you, Jesus. And I thank you, Father God, Heavenly Father, that you will reward each and every one for doing so. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Like, subscribe, comment. There's even a share button. You can share through WhatsApp and other social media. When you participate in this ministry, interacting with these videos in any kind of way, like liking or commenting or whatever, the YouTube algorithm recognizes it and sends these videos into the feed of more people. That way more people view it. The more people that view it can possibly be saved, more people saved, more people encouraged, and still others increase in wisdom. Be encouraged. Walk with Jesus. Put in your due diligence each and every day. Studying the Word of God, even if it's just a little bit of passage of Scripture for like 5, 10, 15 minutes a day. Once a day, pray every day, and count on God granting his promises according to your faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Victory in Jesus.